Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. I'm going to take a drink break real quick just because I'm starting to get some cotton mouth. Oh, cotton mouth kings, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I hate those guys. I always thought that they were complete and utter crap. <laughs> but what does my opinion matter, you know? Not even a little bit. Not even a freaking bit. So, welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. In the last episode, I swear to Almighty Christ that we may have had the most action-packed episode of all time. <laughs> so, I mean, you think about what happened in there. We flew that exact plane into a tree and it exploded. Uh, we dropped some TGRI-esque Secret of the Ooze canister somewhere, and I'm assuming it probably blew that place up. I don't really know. And then we commenced in riding a motorcycle up into the back of a cargo jet, which took us like 30 times to do. We put a bomb in there, and then we dove out from like 30,000 feet or more with a parachute, and then we landed ever so gently right over there. <laughs> and it was, it was pretty wild. Wait a minute. Are you seeing that right now? Okay, look right in, like, look right directly in front of Carl at that rock formation. Tell me that that doesn't look just like a cock and balls. It's totally, you know they did that on purpose. You know it. Nobody was just like, hey, let's just make a, a rock formation that doesn't look like that blatantly. Yeah, he's even trying to ignore it now. He's like, I'm not seeing it. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why you gotta bring up such weird things, man? It's totally what it looks like, though. There's no other way to describe Hello, that. Fellow. It's not even well possible. Met. I thought we were going to go to Las Venturas in this mission, I but apparently do. because these are still here, we're going to roll with these instead. Peace, Carl, my brother. Hey, Truth, where you at? How does he Just not know where he is? No <laughs> Little do you business. know, I've been living up here for the last three where months. How the fuck would I know, man? He like the devil. Hey, man, you okay? Everything yeah, is Yeah, man, I'm just, I'm totally zenning out up here, you know? Uh, whoa, man. Getting in touch with my inner, my inner I'm self. Through life, same as every man. And my hands are okay. abnormally you ashy right now, I don't know why. What you doing for Torino? Nah, I seem to be on the need-to-know basis. Oh, no, man. Two lies don't cancel each other out, you know that. We pay them to lie to us. Is that what our founding fathers wanted? No more, friend. No more. We're not alone. Get off me, man. What's going on? Everything is going on. Don't you get it? There's a place, not even on the map. A train is about to leave. It can explain better than I ever can. Boy, this is going to blow your fucking mind. We got work to do. You better drive. I'll explain. I hope it doesn't take as long it. as this entire conversation digs. Apparently, in game time, it took like five hours. <laughs> they were driving faster than the ground can render. Dun dun dun. Hey, do we have a plan here? Go go go. Hey, hold up, dude. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just like, all right, see you later, man. The truth wants you to gain entry to the ah area 69 and bring back the black project as being developed inside. Oh boy. The easiest way into the Area 69 bunker complex is through simultaneous fellatio. <laughs> Control tower. So it's that little thing. God, there's a bug in here. There are searchlights sweeping the area. Observe their routine and plan your route around them. Oh, this just sounds peachy. If you stay in a searchlight for too long, shoot more than two out. Okay. And go on lockdown. An alternative route and set will have to be found. And there are several military personnel patrolling the area. Use the thermal goggles. Tight. So you can see them in the dark, you can use stealth to avoid patrols, or climb to the top of control tower and use your sniper rifle to take them out. That sounds totally awesome. We are absolutely going to go Gabe Logan on this, and we're going to be shooting people to death! We need to get in there between 5... Oh, by 5.30. Open the blast doors, using the switch. Okay, this all sounds like an absolute nightmare, just waiting to unfold. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, let's get started. we got a lot of people to kill, as it says on this radar. So, oh, hey... Oh god, oh god. Okay, we need to chill. We need to go up the tower now. And I'm gonna need to get that... I'm gonna need to really get that body armor at some point. Okay, and we're gonna be killing a lot... Ah! God. I mean, if anything good comes out of this, it's definitely gonna be the fact that we're gonna be getting some money from killing all these guys. And we're also gonna be getting a lot of ammo. But that's about all the good that I can find. Oh, by the way, speaking of speaking of zenning the hell out, I totally could have used that last night. I got a story to tell you, and I had an absolute complete and complete critical mass meltdown last night. It was really funny. So, uh, oh, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, come on, you can get him. Hey! 
No, I think we're too far away to actually register it. So, okay, so these people are just, like, going about their daily lives right now, like, nothing totally threatening their lives is going on. And it's not like you can't hear that, like, it's pretty loud. Like, listen to that, that's pretty damn loud. But apparently not for these guys, they probably all got earplugs in. So, okay, so here's here's the way that things went last night. So, last night, I, I kind of went about my, my regular business, and I, ooh, I, uh... You know, went and filmed my my nightly episode of uh, of Half Life Two, and everything was totally awesome. It was a really fun episode, and I, you know, went and I edited the whole thing, and I decided to upload it directly after that. Oh, okay, man, this clock is going by fast. Oh, you're trying to be all you're trying to be all sneaky about it. I see what you're doing. Uh huh. We should probably reload this thing. Oh no, it's already loaded. <laughs> I did. I totally looked at that the wrong way. Um. Okay. There's definitely a guy in that tower. So yeah, I get the thing all I get the thing all uh, edited and, and it's fine. I rendered it and it was all cool. And so I upload the thing and it you know everything went fine. I got up and you know people started watching it and and so I was you know about ready to go on to my merry way and start filming more stuff. But within a few minutes, um, I got a comment on the video from uh, one of my one of my regular viewers and he's like, Hey Adam, did you notice that? Um, like right around you know X amount of time and X amount of time there is a spot where like your video just totally goes black and like you can't see anything the audio is still there but you can't see anything I was like ah oh, damn it go figure you know it seems like it seems like there's something going wrong in just about every video I make anymore and I don't know why so I was like all right well you know we'll just uh, we'll, we'll take care of it and so I decide that instead of just pulling the video down like I probably should have initially I I figured, you know what? I'll just I'll just put like an annotation on the video that like that. Uh oh! Oh no! Oh no! Gotta get out of there! Gotta get out of there! Oh no! You don't! Oh no! You don't! I'm gonna go up here. Oh no! Oh no! We've been spotted! Oh crap! No! No! You're gonna take me away from what I want! No, 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 no. Make a break for the tower, man! Oh, no, what have we done? Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, damage the grate. We're going in. Yep, we are going in. This is not how I planned this at all, but hey, you know, that's what happens when you gotta go and blow it. Man, I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. I gotta say he's got the heebie-jeebies? I mean, I guess that's one way to talk about things. So, okay, so... Oh, make your way through Area 69 to the research lab, which will give you access to the Black Project. Coolio. There are several blah 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 blah. <laughs> of course there are. Why wouldn't there be people in here? It'd be even weirder if they just had them all outside and no one in here protecting anything. The control room will allow you to deactivate some of their exterior defenses, which will aid your escape. Fantastic. Go and find the Black Project. Thank God there's no time limit for this, because that would not be good. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna find out real quick why this is not a drill because I'm gonna be shooting you guys so hard from here. So okay, so I decide to to go and start you know start putting my annotations in there you know giving people a a nice you know normal description saying hey this is what happened so if you just click on this and everything's gonna be cool you know like we'll we'll get it all sorted out and you guys can just skip to where the video restores because it was only out it only like cut out for like 30 seconds or whatever. And so I do that, and, like, this is the part where the meltdown starts happening. Like, for whatever reason, I don't even know why it was happening, but for some strange reason, unbeknownst to me, um, I, when I was making this annotation, it absolutely just, like, wouldn't cooperate at all. Like, no matter what I would do, it just wouldn't happen. It was so strange. Like, I, I'd put it in there, and, like, I'd publish the annotation, and people would, like, I'd go, and I'd, I'd test it out, and I'd try to click on it, but... From that point, oh, that guy's dead, and that guy's dead, and that guy's dead. Whoa, that guy jumped. <laughs> oh, hey, there's somebody behind the door. Oh, no, you don't. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, for whatever reason, like, I'd click on the annotation, and it would either do one of two things. It would either completely, like, it would completely stop the video, and, like, it wouldn't fast forward at all. Or, the, the stranger one is that it would just cause the video, it would cause the page to, to, like, refresh, and the video would start all over again. And that's the one that really got me. I was like, I don't understand why that's happening. So, I tried to troubleshoot it as much as I could. I, like, watched a couple of tutorial videos to make sure I was doing it right, even though I was, because <laughs> I've done that numerous times in the past. 
but for some reason it just wasn't it just wasn't working and so i i think i made roughly and i mean a very very rough estimate i probably did like 50 or 55 attempts at trying to get that thing working properly and just nothing no freaking dice at all and it just wasn't gonna work like no matter what i did and so this the meltdown started happening from here because i just didn't like i was starting to, I was starting to lose my my touch with reality and like the fabric of my sanity was being just scrubbed to utter doom with like steel wool and brillo pads and so i was just like what and so i started getting to the point where i was like yelling in here like i started to go like incredible hulk mode on this and my my david banner complex was starting to show really bad okay there's got to be people in here there's no way they're leaving that thing un unattended to Take my and go. Okay, I will. I'm gonna totally do that. I'm holding you to it, though. I don't, I think there's gonna be plenty more violence in here. Yes, there is. So, so here's the part where it starts. So I got to the point where like I just started like yelling. Like I got to the point where I like I wasn't even gonna start being rational anymore. I was just gonna try to start taking out some some unbridled rage. And believe me, it started happening real fast. So I was just like, I was like, why aren't you listening to me? I'm giving you, b oh no, we're dead! <laughs> no, no, oh crap, that sucks. Okay, we're gonna give this another try. Now that we know what we're doing, uh, maybe we'll be a little bit better at this. I probably shouldn't have just been running in there at, at warp speed trying to do this. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll be better, who knows. So, yeah, dude, I was just like, I was like, why aren't you listening to me? I'm giving you basic commands, and you're not cooperating. What the freaking hell is going on? And I just kept doing this over and over again. Like, I'd sit there, and I'd try to calm down for a second, and then it just still wouldn't, it still wouldn't happen. And so I'd just do, like, the same thing over again. I'm just sitting here like, ah, why? What do I have to do? This is such freaking crap. And I'm just totally losing it. And, like, it didn't really occur to me while this was going on because I was, like, so absorbed into my own, like, misery and rage at the moment. But it was, like, 12.45 in the morning, and so everybody in the house was asleep. And, like, even though I'm out here in the garage, like, this is directly next to the room in the living room. And my dad sleeps out there almost every night. And so, uh... <laughs> and so, at one point, after this had gone on for probably, like, a straight half an hour or more of me just going completely completely insane in here all of a sudden I hear a knock at the door in here in my office and I realize oh god I went way too far with this <laughs> and my dad my dad opens up the door he's like he's like what in the hell is going on in here like what are you doing hell, fellow, and I was fellow, just man. like I was like I'm sorry but I'm totally melting down in here man <laughs> he's like he's like well what could possibly be so bad that you're totally losing it in here I was like I was like look I've been working on this for like a couple hours now and just nothing that I'm doing is working and so I just kind of had a moment where my rage went insane <laughs> and he's just like he's like well you need to chill out like the people outside are gonna think that you're getting murdered in here I was like they're probably not gonna be able to hear me like it's I don't think it was that loud but <laughs> I've never in all of my years of doing this I've never lost my cool so much while I was working on on stuff that I've actually woke up people like out of their slumber just because I couldn't you know handle my own <laughs> my own complete anger it was pretty crazy it was really funny though it uh, definitely definitely made for some for some good talking material later how did that guy just now realize what was going on I mean I just killed three of his of his dudes what is he doing he's just standing there <laughs> what a dummy He's like, ah, oh, well, whatever. I mean, it's... I hated all three of those guys anyway, so I'm glad they're dead. I freaking mean it. Okay, so that guy's down. Okay, and we just gotta start stockpiling on ammo here. And hopefully we can, uh, not be alerted of what's going on. And actually, if we just go up... I wonder if we just go up to that grate in the first place, if that won't work, you know? Like, I feel like that's almost a better option. Like, we don't even have to go through all the trouble of disabling everything out here. We could just totally go and do that. Because the only reason why they had me go in there is because the alarm went off. But I feel like that wouldn't be something that they just automatically make that area accessible because of the alarm going off. Like, it wouldn't... It's not like it would be closed off to me just because of that situation. I feel like I should be able to access that at all times. And that guy just fell to his death. Whatever.
So yeah, dude, it was it was really funny. Like I, I had a really good laugh about it. Like after you know all was like after the damage was done, but it was really it was it was good quality good quality laughing material, and so that was that. Oh boy, oh come on, come on, get a better gun out. There we go. So, oh, another thing by the way, this actually kind of makes me sad. Um, like I was uh, before I started filming this, I decided to you know take a break and have dinner. When I got home from work, I actually just totally passed out. Like I, uh, I've just been so damn tired. And like because of that whole ordeal that happened last night, I totally didn't end up getting to bed until oh god, I don't know, probably it was probably close to like three in the morning or later. Just because I had like after that thing, after I decided to call it quits on the annotation thing, I just decided to pull the video down. And I like I went back and I had to re-edit it and I had to re-render the whole thing to find out that I just I need to be a little bit more attentive when I'm doing those now because of the fact that um, for some reason like if when I'm do when I'm adding like certain transitional effects in that like sometimes parts of the video will just black out for some reason if I'm not careful so now I have to like totally make sure that doesn't happen and it, you know at the expense of things going completely wrong and that happening again so. Yeah, so I ended up uh, having to do the whole thing over essentially, but so I so I got home last night or today, and I just I was so damn tired that I sat down on the couch, and I conked out completely. And so when I when I came to, um, America's Funniest Home Videos was on, and like I've always been a really big fan of that show. Like I haven't watched it as much recently because I'm not like a I'm not like a huge fan of the guy that's the host now. I'm trying to remember what his name is. It's a uh, Tom. Tom, uh, Tom something or other. I'd, I'd had it in my head before this started, but I, I can't think of it right off the top of my head now. But, oh, so wait a minute. Can we just go, oh, that's where the blast door is. Okay. So, we just gotta go around the, oh, around the corner. Why do these guys, like, they're just, like, running around, just, like, that guy was, like, jaunting around like he was, uh, like, he was in, like, an 80s workout tape or something. And he's like, oh, let me, I gotta go over to the front of the gate. Whatever. Um. So I was watching it, and apparently, what this episode was is um, oh, there's totally armor right there. I don't need armor. I actually need life. So apparently, what happened? Oh no 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 no! Oh damn it! It happened anyways. Crap! I thought I was gonna get away with it. We need just need to go down here. Uh, this is there's there's health down here, so I'm definitely gonna take this route instead. Um. So apparently this was actually the last episode that the guy that's hosting it was was going to be doing. Tom Bergeron, that's what his name was. Um, so yeah, apparently it was his it was his last it was his last episode he was going to ever do, and they were doing it at Disney World because uh, it's like the 25th like anniversary of the show or whatever, the 25 year anniversary, and so it was actually really tight. Like they were doing like the like the grand prize winner and all this stuff. And um, and so he announced at the end that it was his last episode that he was ever going to do. And he's actually, like, the longest tenured host on the show uh, that they've ever had, like, even longer than Bob Saget. And uh, and so, like, they did, like, a little farewell thing for him. It was actually, like, really sad. Like, I know that he wasn't, like, my favorite guy ever, but it's just, I don't know, it's always kind of sad when, when long-tenured hosts end up leaving a show. And so... Um, and so it was actually really cool, though, at the end, because when uh, when they announced like the grand prize winner and all this stuff, um, he ends up like you know walking off the stage and he, he goes off to the side and uh, there's like there's a guy that's sitting in a golf cart waiting for him so they can go drive away, and he goes and sits down in the thing and the guy that was driving the golf cart was totally Bob Saget, so they they actually brought him back uh, just for that episode so that they could both. You know, crack a couple of jokes and then like ride off into the sunset and like this whole like uh, this whole like symbolic little thing. It was actually really cool, but I'm really sad though because like I'm afraid that this is gonna be like the moment where the show totally might end up dying off forever. Because from what I from what I understand, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna bring in a new host. Like they definitely got renewed for a 26th season, and so obviously they're gonna find a new host. But from what I read. What are you doing, Carl? Yeah, that was a smart idea, bro. Uh, but apparently, from what I read, they're going to they're going to get a new host, but they're going to try to shoot for like a younger crowd, and so they're not going to necessarily go for like a celebrity, but they're going to go for like a YouTube personality. <laughs> and no, I'm not saying myself. I th I don't think I'd be the right guy for that. Not even close. Okay, we need to chill. We need to be very tac tactical about this. This is what got us in trouble in the first place. There we go. 
now that we know where everybody is, we don't need to get all crazy with this. We can we can at least be a little bit more. Could all personnel remember that the quarantine breach alarm tech has now been moved to Monday morning? This is this is Lashonda. Can I get someone on line one? I got line busy and my nails are still drying. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, dude, like that's that's the part where I think that they, uh, the show's either going to keep going and it's going to be awesome, or when they bring in this new host to do it, it's just like like it's not going to connect with people at all, and it's just the show's going to totally go up in flames after that. Like that's what I'm afraid of. I really hope it doesn't happen. But I've got a really bad feeling right in the pit of my stomach that that's totally what's going to happen. So, I mean, let's keep our, keep our, uh, keep our, uh, I almost said our arms crossed. Yeah. Well, I hope this doesn't happen, damn it. So, I mean, we, a guy, a guy can dream, you know, I really hope that's not how it shakes down, but one can never know. Where are we going right now? I feel like we're totally not going the right way. I mean, we just did this a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Now I, I've totally lost my, my sense of direction. Did we not did we not go up this thing? I'm pretty sure we did. Um No? Apparently not. Maybe we went down it. Maybe that's how we got down here. I'm totally lost. So yeah, dude, I'm I'm kinda bummed out. Like I, I never like seeing shows like that end up, you know, going down the tubes. And maybe it won't. But I think the weird thing, like I was going back because my dad and I were talking about it, he's, he's like it's like, so Bob Saget was the original host, and then, at least I think so, at least from, from what I can remember, at least. And so we were trying to think back to a time, like, what were other hosts between Bob Saget and, uh, and Tom Bergeron? And I was like, holy crap, there was like a span of like two years. I totally remember it now. There was like a, there was like a span of like two years where Daisy Fuentes and, uh, I don't remember how to pronounce his name, but I think it was like John Fugelsang or Fugelsong. The, they like did like this joint hosting thing and it was super weird like the show was it was really awkward at that point and I don't really like it wasn't bad but it just didn't even it didn't feel right at all you know like the whole vibe of the show just didn't seem like it gelled together at all which is probably why they only they were only on the show for like two years who is shooting at me it's that guy and then there's this guy and that guy's still shooting and uh, this guy is, is also now dead okay that's cool so yeah, dude, it was it's it was it was weird. That was that was a very weird moment for that whole thing. Oh crap, we need to be better about shooting these guys. Okay, I uh, I'm, I'm apparently not very good at that part. <laughs> we just need to as soon as we see people, we need to really lock onto them and shoot them. Come on, Scott. I don't know why he keeps aiming at the wall, especially when I'm making like a I'm making a contact visual there. I don't really know what a contact visual is. I maybe like I meant like I'm meaning like an eye contact thing, not like a not like a we're actually touching each other. Touching me, touching you. Here's a couple bullets. Da -da -da. Oh boy. So wait, this is this was the truth. <laughs> this is the Paul Pierce apparently. Oh boy, this is really scary. <laughs> Cause I'm a rocket man. Da -da -da. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy. This jetpack is $60 million? <laughs> Get the General Mills? Get the Serial Man on the line right now! Press right. Press left. I don't, I don't think... Oh boy. Oh no. This isn't going to be good. You can file us. Uh, you can file it uh, while piloting the jetpack. We need to hurry up and get out of here right now. We don't have a lot of health. And I got a feeling this is going to get real ugly at some point. Oh boy. Okay. We just, we just got to move. How far away do we have to go? So, oh my god, so far away. <laughs> it's actually probably not really that bad, but it certainly feels like it at a moment where I only have like a little over half a bar of health left. Woo! So, I mean, basically the moral of the story is R.I.P. America's Funniest Home Videos. And I love that show, man. Like, I know that some of the things aren't really that funny sometimes, but there's always, a, there's, you're always guaranteed to get a couple of really good ones. Like, the one, like, one of the two candidates that was up for the, like, the, the grand prize was actually, it was, like, really creative and it was really funny. It was, uh, it was this, uh, this family. And, uh, they decided they were gonna pull this, this freaking awesome prank. They were gonna pull this really, really cool, awesome prank on just anybody that happened to be in the area at the time. Oh, dude, man. Um, we'll, hey, we'll see what he says here. Stash somewhere fast. 
Far out. Have a nice trip, dude. Hey, wait. A ah, was it too much to ask to get a lift in the town? <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. It was absolutely way too much to ask. Uh, okay, well, at least we, we can take this bike, and we have a parachute. I'm not really going to take it, because I don't think I need it. So, okay, so what these guys decided to do is actually really creative. Let's see, where's the airstrip at? It's actually not that far away. We'll, we'll go over there, and then we'll, we'll call it we'll call it stops for uh, for this time around. And then we're I think we're going to go off to Las Venturas right after this, which is going to be really exciting. I'm actually really pumped for that. I think that's going to be a lot of fun when we can get around to it. Because we're going to Vegas. So what these guys decided to do... Oh, no! Oh, wow, that was really close. Oh, boy. This better not be Mike. Hey, Carl, it's me, the truth. We got a date with Destiny, man, in about five minutes. Where you at? At the old airplane graveyard you've been hanging around. Ah, <laughs> going back. I guess we're not going there as, uh, as quickly as I had thought. Okay, so before I get away from my before I get away from my my talking point here, so what these guys did is they they put they put one of their kids on one side of the street and they put another one of their kids on the other side of it, and they they pretty much were were going they they uh, they were acting like they had a rope that was uh, like they had like an invisible rope that was spanning across the road that they were going to try to like you know trip up either like people riding by on bikes or like. If, like, cars ran into it, then, you know, it was gonna, like, totally jack up their car. But there was no rope, so they were just, like, totally improv the whole thing. And so, uh... <laughs> and so, these, like, these two kids, they had it, they were just, like, totally enacting the whole thing. And, like, they're pulling on it, and they're, like, really putting a lot of emotion into it. And they actually did, like, a really good job in selling it. And, like, there's this, there's this guy that pulls up, <laughs> like, in his car. And he sees that these kids are, like, you know, really reefing on, on something. And so he thinks that there's totally a rope there. And so he, he like, he sits there for, he pulls up to it and he sits there for a minute and he's like trying to process all of it and he's just like, I don't get it. I just can't figure it out. And the guy, the, the kid's dad is just losing it. He's just like, he's like, that guy totally thinks there's a, a thing in the road and it's not even there. And so he just sits there for a couple minutes and he still, he still can't figure it out. And so the guy eventually like gets out of the car and he like he like walks up like walks up to the middle of the road real quick and he like he like waves his hand across the middle just to like just to make sure there's nothing there and then he's just like oh i fell for it and it was it was actually really funny like in, in a really clever way like you don't see a lot of really you know well pulled off pranks like that it was it was awesome Okay, well, this video took way longer than I had anticipated, but we got the mission done, and that's all that matters. So, when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, we'll try to not have a video this long next time, but I really wanted to get that, that uh, little Area 69 thing done, so, you know, we, we totally did it. So, when we come back, we're going to do that, see what uh, see what What's-His-Face has for us, and see if that goes over well, and then hopefully we can, hand up, we can uh, head off to Las Venturas. I really hope so. So we'll see. Bye, everybody. Take care.